So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is Saturday evening, July 4th, 2020, and in about two hours from now, uh, we will be live streaming our annual fireworks show. Now before I blow everything up, I'm going to give you kind of a rundown on how I approach this, and I'll show you the layout that I use, and we'll go from there. And then later on in this video, I'll put together, you know, some highlights from the show, because during the show I'll have four cameras set up. Uh, the live stream, the quality should be okay, but this video will probably be a little bit better. So we're going to start here at the beginning. I have some uh, 200 gram cakes out here. And the way I work this is we do everything sort of to music, okay? So uh, we'll start off with some Ray Charles, America the Beautiful. I'll have a couple of these 200 gram cakes going off. And what I like to do is stretch everything out in a long line like this. So, you know, I can come here, light two of these cakes back here. And then I'll go back there about 50, 75 feet, light a couple more, slowly come back up this way. These will be done, and I can light a couple more. So I just kind of jump back and forth. But anyway, if we've got the uh, highfalutin right there, these power cell 25 shots. They're a small cake, but they're impressive. Some of these red, white, and booms here. Rain of fire. One of my favorites is the uh, swashbucklers. You can see the way that cake is shaped. You know, it, uh, it does like a panoramic effect. Then you've got these uh, pandemoniums right here. 205 shot barrage. It's the same thing. It's like a Z pattern. Really neat uh, cake right there. That's a 500 gram one. Then uh, these are just some things that I throw in. These are 196 shot like Roman candles. But I'll use those as part of the finale. And when I'm setting up, I get kind of creative with stuff. You know, they have spikes on them to stick those in the ground, but they're not going to stick in the ground here. They're going to fall over. So you just get a cement block, put some rock in there. It's not going anywhere. Then I got some more of these 200 gram cakes here. Fourth of July jubilation, Molotov cocktails, a couple more highfalutins. And then here, these singles, I'll light these early on during the national anthem and they'll be out of the way. You know, these four right here will be fired. And then later on in the finale, I'll probably light up this other pandemonium right here. Then we're getting into like some 500 gram cakes. You got the uh, New Yorker salute finales, three of them. And what I do, you know, throughout the show, I try to keep everything in rows this way and stretched out that way. And I'll start at this side. So it may be the second song into the fireworks show. And I'll light that one, one back there. And so not only am I jumping back and forth this way, I'm working from there over. This here is just a little mortar rack right here. I just have these fused up as doubles. If you have a little pause in the action or something, I can always come back and hit these with the torch and set off two mortars. Three more hydrogen bomb 500 gram cakes. You got the uh, Popo magnets back here. Strobe spectaculars. And uh, what I do, I put all the fuses the same direction. Uh, they're all facing this way. I'll have a headlamp on, and it's actually a pretty good system. And uh, I'll be wearing, you know, ear protection, eye protection, probably an FR shirt. It'll be hot down here. Got another uh, swashbuckler here. Another mortar rack here. Same thing as that last one. I just have that set up as doubles. I use those to kind of fill in. Bold colors. These are a real nice cake here. Another strobe spectacular. Got the uh, end of the road finale. And now we're getting back here into the serious stuff here. So when I'm going to do this finale, what I'll do, I'll be up front lighting a whole bunch of little ones. Basically anything that's left up there, okay? As soon as I get all that stuff lit, I'll come back here. I've got some extra fuse on these two. These are 20-shot mortar racks, so I'll light them. It's a relatively slow-burning fuse. So before these are even going off, I'll be able to come back here and light all these big ones light those three inch shells and then i finish up with this one this one here i like to get away from uh, as you can see light fuse run take cover not sure about this one because this is fast fuse right here and I actually doubled it up so i make sure i get ignition this whole thing will burn across there in probably two and a half seconds so you will have 20 shots 20 mortars going off in two and a half seconds now the fuse going down the tubes is a little bit longer but they will all be ignited in two seconds then a few seconds later they'll all go off almost simultaneously so that's basically uh how we approach this here should be a pretty good show 
I've got this uh, tarp on the sawmill. Now I usually have just a blue tarp over the mill, but I bought this on Amazon. It feels like any other tarp, but it is a fire resistant tarp. So uh, we'll see how well that works. Hopefully it works pretty good. Shouldn't have any problem with fire, but I do know when I'm down here setting them off occasionally some things, you know, fall back down, might burn through your shirt or something. That's why I wear one of those FR shirts. But uh, it's pretty exciting when you're down here. If you just take your time and don't get excited and, and plan each of your steps out, it all works out really well. Uh, that's the thing. The biggest risk now, because <clears throat> I did a lot of prep work by using liquid nails and gluing everything down, making sure everything's stable. The only thing that's not stable are these four right here, but I'll be lighting them one at a time and I'll know to get far away from them. But besides the risk of something falling over and shooting in a direction you don't want, the other thing is you don't want to be leaning over top of anything. That would be really bad. So uh, that's why I kind of lay it out like this and I just take my time, have a system, and it'll work out just fine. All right, I went over all the fireworks with them a little bit ago down there. Now I'm going to show them some of the uh, gear that I use and how we're going to do this. I'll, I'll wear my uh, helmet cam. That's one camera. And that's magnetic. Yeah, no, that one's like, uh, that's a sticky thing on there. It works really okay. good. I got this little DJI Osmo Pocket, Canon M50, and then the Canon 80D that we're recording on right now. Got my Petzl headlamp. Streamlight. This is an unbelievable flashlight right here. It is. Earplugs, safety glasses on my head, two torches, and I'll wear my FR long sleeve shirt when I'm down there as well. And just a little Motorola uh, radio, and Hannah has the other one. That way we can kind of talk back and forth as far as the music goes. She controls the music. Uh, but that's it for all the gear. But it is so weird right now because every year we would, this whole parking area, there would be Tables, chairs. Tables, chairs, and hundreds of people. Grills and food. Yeah, and you smell the food mm -hmm. in the air, and uh, it's still going to be great, but it's just different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's really different. But as we get older, we're like, yeah. okay. This a lot easier to get can ready for. <laughs> ease right into this, yeah. This was a lot easier to get ready for. Now, I'll be doing the live feed on my phone, and I have the little tripod that came from Amazon. Yeah. For your phone. So, we did that trial run last night. It just clamps right in and yeah. Works really good. But anyway, next up, uh, we'll start the show uh, here in a little bit. You'll see this video Sunday morning. Hope you catch it on the live feed. Actually, the live feed will be really good, but the quality of video will probably be a little bit better in this one of yeah. the fireworks and yeah. plus all the different camera angles and things. Right. All right, so we'll Thanks see you in a bit. Watching.